I have noticed that handheld gaming devices have lost a lot of momentum over the years, losing the plot of what their intended purpose really is. The thing about handheld gaming devices is they are supposed to be small, affordable and fun, like any gaming device, toy or video game. I have my concerns about the latest range and new releases of handheld gaming devices or if you can call them handheld gaming consoles. I grew up to the Game Boy Color back in the day and at that point there were more advanced Game Boy that came out like the Game Boy Advanced and the Game Boy Advanced SP which I have actually played on and it was a lot of fun back then. This was back when gaming was still primitive where people still used to go to arcades to play video games. Back when home video game consoles still had yet to take off and gain the popularity they have now. The crazy part is that Nintendo pretty much ran the whole Game Boy handheld scene back in the day. They did so for a long time. Even to this day Nintendo is still the leading producer of handheld gaming consoles. The only time Nintendo saw any real competition was when they released the Nintendo DS which was a pretty unique handheld console and from what I have seen it sold really well. I saw many people have them and me personally I have played on it many times myself. Its biggest rival came a year later and that was the PSP, the PlayStation Portable which also sold well and was very well received by people. Personally I have played on it many times and have had a good experience with both handheld gaming consoles. The handheld console wars between Nintendo and Sony would continue, the back and forth with both of them making many different versions of their handhelds, trying to perfect them, making them better. The only difference is that the PS Vita which was the last handheld that Sony made didn't sell well and was not as well received and it didn't outsell the 3DS. I have only ever known a few people to have the PS Vita and I have only ever played on it once. The PS Vita sadly disappeared and hasn't really been seen since and I have never seen a PS Vita game in stores and even when it first came out, I guess I never will. There is one comment that I saw that best describes what I am saying and it reads as follows. I think after the debut and how well the PSP was received, PS4 was the hot new thing from PlayStation and the Vita was more of a beefed up PSP. No one really cared. I think the handheld days are pretty much done with how advanced phones are and the countless apps you can download and play. The problem with handheld consoles is that technology has advanced so much over the years to the point of where now there really is no need for handheld consoles. The concept has become almost obsolete with mobile phones having taken over the handheld scene. The Nintendo Switch being a supposed handheld console that is competing against next gen home consoles really is a great area and a concept that is still not very well understood by some people but is a handheld console which has home console capabilities that has sold extremely well. The new supposed line in handheld consoles like the Asus ROG Ally, Steam Deck and PlayStation Portal really don't have the qualities of a handheld console and are in many cases just as expensive as a next gen home console. So in hindsight it really wouldn't be smart to get them as opposed to just getting a next gen console anyway. My final thoughts are, people have forgot the core concept of what a handout console is supposed to be. Cheap, small and fun. This is something that has ruined the whole handheld console niche and with a handheld console probably costing more than your smartphone which your smartphone has more storage and free games to play there is no way you are buying an overpriced overhyped handheld console. With regards to the Asus ROG Ally and Steam Deck coming from someone who doesn't have a lot of money they really are not worth it. These are the type of consoles that very few people would buy and the Nintendo Switch is so expensive. Each game I have seen being sold costs as much as a brand new home console game that just came out and these types of consoles are not for kids. You won't really see many 3 to 10 year old kids with these new handhelds. The game selection is not good as well. They release a lot of AAA games that come out on home consoles which cost the same. So then what's the point of wanting the handheld experience. Handheld consoles can't even fit into your pocket anymore. They are not very convenient and small. They stand out and everyone can see what you are doing as well as the storage not being very good on the modern handhelds. I have never really been one for handheld gaming and stopped mobile gaming because it would eat my phone's battery life. So this is why I only game on my PC or home consoles or maybe even at an arcade I choose to go to. And with that this is the chili man signing off. I thank everyone for watching. Peace out.